Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here with an update on Peanuts Reef. As you can see, I've got the canopy back on, got the light system in. I'm using the standard light rig that came with the aquarium set up right now because, well, it's fish only. I'll eventually uh, replace that probably with an LED rig um, so I can get good coral growing on. But uh, it'll work for right now. Just kind of a quick look at the tank. Some of you probably already seen the aquascaping I've done. Just kind of a closer look. Nice little cave going on there. I've got a nice live rock here. That's a great live rock. I love that one. Kind of going on. I got the aerator going in this tank. I want to make sure to get enough oxygen in. It's another really nice live rock. It's got nice good stuff growing on it. There's a live rock back there. Pretty cool. There's another one. Now, this whole little setup I built, and I actually, this arch here, this is all coral reef glued together along with that piece. And they're sitting on these big base rocks. Pretty decent. Um, there's a new addition to the tank. Woohoo! Molly the Molly. He's a domino or a Dalmatian Molly, whatever you call him, spotted. He seems to like it. Having fun. Woohoo! I used to use uh, Molly's a lot to help cycle uh, saltwater tanks. I like Molly's, they're not aggressive. And if you want to take them out of the tank, they're easy to catch. Some people don't even know that they're brackish water fish and they adapt well to uh, salt, as do monos and silver sharks, and a few other fish. I did have two of them initially, but uh, one of them uh, died today, so I'm going to have to pick him up a little buddy. But he seems to like it. He's having fun. He's eating well. There's my, well, first of all, the filter, charcoal filter for now. I'll probably replace that with a canister. My um, overflow box. Now, Mr. Saltwater Tank, uh, Mark Carrion, he... Uh, said, uh, well, my advice about an overflow box is don't use them. And I understand why now. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get running. Uh, but I didn't have much of a choice. I didn't have a built-in on this tank. So if you go to buy a tank flat out and you want a reef and you're going to do a sump, make sure to get one that has one built in because it was a pain in the butt. I will say that. A power head little mag float algae scraper. I've got two thermometers going on here. As you can see, my temperature is right in the green where I want it to be. I've got a digital one over here. It's hard to see, but just kind of double check. Temperature is on point. And then down below, this was my biggest hurdle with this sump. I was having issues with it. I've got my macroalgae back in. I've got refugium mud and some live rock in there and then some debris from my reef saver rock. Which, by the way, reef saver rock, if you haven't used it, definitely. It's awesome. Um, it's very sturdy. It's kind of brittle on the outer pieces, but I try to drop it to make smaller pieces onto the concrete didn't shatter like I thought it would, so it's a very stable rock, and it interlocks like Lincoln logs, man. It's awesome, and it just looks really natural. This stuff I got from uh, BulkReefSupply.com, and uh, as I've seen in other pieces, I've got extra. I'll probably use that on a, a bio cube. I think I'm going to make a predator tank with a lionfish, maybe an eel. But, so... Sump is running well. Little air pump back there. Got my specimen tank to drip uh, fish in, which is nice. You take this little puppy, put your fish in with the aquarium water or the uh, pet store water, run a air tube and um, siphon into it, and then create a, a, a small knot to kind of start looping. And then you can overflow this water out to get the aquarium or the uh, fish pet store water out so it's nothing but your aquarium water. 
um, great way to acclimate your fish. So we've got that running, that's going good. I got my little protein skimmer going. I've got my return pump. Now I marked it with some masking tape um, to make sure my water levels weren't changing. I've been doing really well with it uh, all night. I'm happy because that took forever to get running right. And I've also been using this light here. Some uh, Kent Marine Purple Tech. And uh, the whole point to this is to get a purple coralline and green uh, calcareous going. Back row algae stimulator. So we'll see how that works. Now on my return pump, because this thing, this pump right here, this thing was going nuts, man. It was sucking the water out. Just to come back around and show you, here's the back of my rig. I had to put a secondary control valve in, and I had to slow the amount of water coming back into the tank itself. So, because otherwise the pump was just draining the sump dry. Rather than taking it all back and messing with it, I spent about six bucks and installed that. Now, on my water pumps, or my, my water rig, I've got a one inch uh, tube running. These control valves are three quarter inch, and then I've got the uh, half inch pieces in here, the connector pieces. So, um, if you're going to put one of these together, you got to go to the hardware store, man. And I wish pet stores would start doing this kind of stuff, but they don't. you got to do a little bit of plumbing research. So you'll want two valves. Make sure you get one on the in intake from your overflow box so that you can shut it off if need be and uh, keep your suction. And you can also control that. And then put one on your return pump so you can control that too. And it just takes playing with it. It took me about... 20, 30 minutes to get it rolling, but one inch tube seemed to work really well, got the three quarter inch uh, T-valve, and then you had to get an adapter piece, which you can kind of see, it screws in right here, and then it just kind of goes up, I used a little bit of plumbing tape to make sure nothing leaked, it's been running great, I like it. I'm happy finally. <laughs> Tank is uh, relatively stable for being so new. I can't wait to see it evolve and get a little bit more mature. Thanks uh, to the guy who mentioned uh, instead of getting a new pump, a weaker pump, just put another control valve in it. Worked brilliantly. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy your reef tanks. Have a great week. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll keep you updated. Later.